Next Labs product can be used uh, to do the fine grain access control and algorithm management, not only in the traditional ERP and PLAB systems, but also any application in the SAP ecosystem and also non SAP applications. In this example, uh, we'll see how we can use it in MDG, which is Mass Data Governance Modeling from SAP. Uh, basically, MDG is, is a, an integrated tool to, uh, to create, um, maintain, and manage and also distribute mass data uh, to to the entire enterprise organization. It has a lot of you know automated workflows and uh, an approval process predefined that basically helps you to reduce the cost and effort required to either uh, consolidate or harmonize master data, which result which actually helps you to bring more quality into the quality into the, into the data. In this example, we'll see how we can uh, implement uh, fine-grained access control uh, within this module. Uh, so we took an example of product master data. Uh, where you have a set of products. Out of those products, there are certain uh, restricted products uh, which belong to a specific product group. Uh, again, the differentiation between restricted versus non-restricted can be defined in multiple ways. Uh, in this example, we use the attribute uh, which is out of the box from SAP. That's called product group. Uh, apart from that, you could also use, uh, there is a tool out of the box uh, from the product uh, that, that you can use to classify the data. So you could choose to classify certain materials as restricted versus others. So in this example, I have taken two users, Bomb Engineer 1 and Bomb Engineer 2. So Bomb Engineer 1, who's a restricted user, uh, he cannot see uh, restricted products belonging to the product group. Uh, whereas Bomb Engineer 2, he has more privileged access. So he can see all the products, including the restricted product data. Let's take a quick look how this, uh, this can be done in the system. I'm going to log into the MDG module uh, in SAP. As, as a bomb engineer one. So one of the key functionality in MDG is actually searching for materials or searching for products. So let's take a look at it and see uh, when engineer one tries to search uh, for the products. Uh, let's see what, what he can see. So I'm going to do an open search here. No, no restrictions. Open blanket search. Yeah, so we got 81 uh, results uh, in the product list. It has different products, including description, type, uh, uh, base unit of measure, and uh, other attributes. So the requirement here is that engineer one uh, is not supposed to see the restricted materials that belonging to material group uh, called zero one. So in the key, as you can see the, uh, the attribute here called material group. So it has multiple values. So you could see zero two, L zero zero three. Um, so this user should not see any material that belongs to group 01. So we classified 01 as the restricted group. That's why you should not see it. So let's take a look. You know, uh, let me let me do a quick filter here to see. So actually, if you look in here in the filter itself, we don't see 01 as a possible value. And because in you know, all those uh, restricted data has been filtered out when uh, you know when the search results came to the application. So let me let me try to do an explicit uh, um, you know explicit filter and see. What data you get it? So I'm gonna I'm gonna include zero one. So we have a zero one meter group, and then let me go ahead and search for that. So you can see that there are no materials at all. Uh, you know, with the zero one uh, that the student is able to see. So let's take the similar uh, search uh, using Bomb Engineer 2, who has more restrict, more uh, based access. I'm going to log in uh, in the in different uh, session here. So Bomb Engineer 2 uh, can see, should see every material because he, he, he has the privileged access. So let's do the same search again here. He sees more than 100 materials here. Uh, I think the earlier that he was only seeing you know, 81 materials, but here in Juno 2 is able to see a lot of materials here. And you can you can also see that the material group 01, uh, which we classified as a restricted group, uh, those materials as well, he is able to see. So this particular functionality is 
is driven by a policy uh, that is written in, in the central system, control center, what we call. So that policy, it's again one single policy uh, for different applications in the landscape, whether it is ERP, uh, SAP PLM, or own BG, or, or including non-SAP applications as well. I mean, if you have, say, for example, uh, you know, service now or maybe some Salesforce application, uh, you could use the same policy uh, to enforce restrictions at the application layer. 